Tom and Andrew were asked to solve the following problem. 200 people with neurology symptoms, which include headaches and backaches, participated in a study to evaluate a pain relief medicine. All the people took the medicine and the results were as follows. 60 people experienced headache relief, 126 people experienced backache relief, and 36 people experienced relief from both. What is the probability that a person who takes the drug experiences relief from part one, at least one of the two symptoms, part two, neither of the symptoms? So let's just look at these questions and try and figure out what they're actually asking us. Here they want us to figure out, okay, so what's the probability that a person who takes the drug experiences relief from at least one of the two symptoms? So what does that mean? That would mean, so backache relief or headache relief or both. So that's another way of saying find the probability of the union of headache relief or backache relief. And then what about neither of the symptoms? Well, that would just be the complement of headache relief or backache relief. So there's two ways we can go through this question. We could use formulas, which is harder, or we could use a Venn diagram, which is easier. So the first thing I would try would be using Venn diagrams to get through this question. So Andrew decided to solve the problem using a Venn diagram. So complete the Venn diagram and determine the answer to the problem. So we know this in total represents 200 people. So let's fill out all of these regions. They said that 36 people experience relief from both. So we start in the middle and we place a 36 in the middle. Now we'll work our way out, making sure we don't count anything twice. So it said that 60 people experienced headache relief. So in total, everything inside of this set should equal 60. So that means we need to subtract out 36 to find out that 24 experienced headache relief only. And we'll repeat that process on the other side. So 126 minus 36 equals 90. And now to figure out what's outside, well, we're just going to take the total, the 200, and we'll subtract out 24 minus 36 minus 90, which leaves us with 50. So a 50 is placed outside of the circle. And now as soon as we have our Venn diagram filled out, it's going to be easy to find the following probabilities. Well, headache relief or backache relief, right? Going back to set theory, that's going to be the union of those two sets. So we'll add up 24 plus 36 plus 90, divide that by our total of 200, and we end up with 0.75, or 75% of the people will experience either headache relief or backache relief, or both. Now part two, that was uh, neither of the symptoms. So that's just the complement of the union of the two which is gonna be 50 all over 200, which equals 0 0.25. And of course, both of those sum to one because the probability of complementary events will always sum to one. So let's take a look at how we could uh, approach this question using I heard formulas. Mr. Can you please call the author? Mr. Strelau, please call the author. So Tom decided to work the, pr sorry, solve the problem using a probability formula, complete his work and determine the answer to the problem. So he's saying the uh, the probability that we experience just headache, sorry, the probability that we experience headache relief is 60 over 200, so 0 0.3. The probability that we experience backache relief was 126 all over 200. Now included in both of those is someone experiencing relief from both. Right? There's a certain amount that found relief from both. In fact, there's 36 people that experienced relief from both. So we'll just continue on with this work. All right, both would be the intersection, which is 36 all over 200, which gives us 0 0.18. Now, let's solve. So the probability of experiencing headache or backache relief. So the keyword was or, so we're going to add 
keeping in mind that these are not mutually exclusive because there's the area of overlap. So we have to subtract that out so we don't count things twice, which is kind of similar to what we're doing here, right? We are subtracting out duplicates. So we'll subtract out the probability of someone experiencing headache and backache relief. So 0 0.3 plus 0 0.63 minus 0 0.18, which gives us 0 0.75. So the same as before. Now the second part, well, they're complementary events. So I'm just going to take one, subtract out 0 0.75, and we're left with 0 0.25. So this is a tough question. Lots in there. Um, we can do it one of two ways. We can use formulas or we can use Venn diagrams. All right. Good luck with the homework questions.